Welcome to Pumpkin Spice Podcast. It's a seasonal treat for fans of horror films. And you know what? You don't even have to be a fan of horror films because I'm Rob Schulte. And I'm Brittany High. And while I wouldn't say I'm not not a fan of horror films, I would not call myself a fan of horror films. This podcast has changed me, though. Well, yeah, you can see... Um, all of the non-frightening things when you really pay attention. Yeah. Brittany, much like the Pets and Pet Cemetery episode, this is a uh, an off-season episode where I went and saw a scary movie, quote, in theaters, and I come back and I report it to you because there's no way in hell you're going to see it, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I can't even handle Toy Story 4, like... I asked my friend if I sh- would scream cry during Toy Story 4, and she was like, most people wouldn't, but you would find a way, you know? I feel really bad that we have a new season of the show coming up where you you are going to have to watch scary movies. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm totally fine with it. Remember, it really does keep me on my toes. And the toes, that's like, that's in a very important part of the body. Oh, yeah. For balance. Dude, if you're not on your toes, like... <laughs> You're messing it up. You are not going to succeed in that ballet career that you have been practicing for. Yes, at 30 bleep years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe in 10 years. Yeah. Anyway. 10,000 years. Brittany. What? Ch- <laughs> Child's Play is about toys. Mm-hmm. One toy in particular. And I have a question for you. Did you have a doll growing up? Were you a doll kid or a toy kid? Of course. Of any sort? Yeah, I had a stuffed animal. Uh, it's just one. <laughs> just kidding. I don't know why that's so weird. But Whoa. And I did. Is I had, a stuffed animal a doll? Well, no, it's a stuffed animal. But I did have an American Girl doll, and I read all of her <gasps> books. She wasn't creepy at all, though. She was, like, from the Depression. She totally gets me. Wow. Yeah. Yep, not creepy. Do you remember... <laughs> Your American Girl doll's name. Of course. Molly. Molly McIntyre. Molly McIntyre. <laughs> Jeez, I was going to I was going to guess, but but it's really it would have been pretty boring because I was going to guess Molly McIntyre. Wow. Anyway, so. Did you have any dolls? Be honest. I had one of those uh bug dolls that like had a human's head but like the body of a worm. Oh, great. Do you know what I'm... T- yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? You're fucking with me, and I don't appreciate this kind of I love it. Why does that exist? Of course that's a doll for boys. <laughs> no, I think it was like called like a glow worm or something. Oh. I think it like had to do with cabbage patch. Oh, yes, glow worms, for sure. That sounded so different the way that you were originally... But isn't that what... How fucked up is that? Isn't That's weird. like that just a human head with a worm's body yeah. and it glows? Yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah, well now I it's ruined the magic for me. Ruined the magic in me. <laughs> <laughs> uh but then I uh graduated onto X-Men action figures which then I graduated onto the video camera we had and I made stop motion videos with it. Oh. Well, you'll have to show me sometime. Yeah, I'm sure they exist. Um but also they had no plots. It was me just figuring out how to make it look cool when Wolverine jumps in his Jeep and drives away. We've gotten off off topic. Here, yeah, I mean. can you please tell me about Child's Play? Andy, I know this move has been really tough, but this was supposed to be a new start for us, remember? You said you were going to try to make new friends. Buddy can connect to and control all of your Caslin products and smart home devices. Introducing your new best friend. Well, I need to tell you something, and I need you to believe me. I think Chucky did something. Andy, if you know something, you better tell me. Something is wrong with Chucky. Buddy can connect to and control all of your camera cars. Chucky is a toy. He could be anywhere. Welcome to Kazlin Car. We have to stop. 
stop him. Good night, Andy. Yeah, this is the Child's Play remake that just came out here in June of 2019, starring Aubrey Plaza, among other people like Mark Hamill. And I'm going to step out on a ledge here, Brittany, and say that this is Mark Hamill's best role to oh, date. my gosh. Rivaled only by Cockknocker from Jay and Silent Bob. Um, what a hot take. The sizzling hot take of my... No, I mean, it was fine. I think, obviously, Mark Hamill is an amazing voice actor. We all know this. But any horror podcast out there can tell you horror facts about a movie. But, Brittany, you probably have some very specific questions for me as the movie goer. Yes. Okay, because... Not everybody can be an expert. I I have the questions that really need answers. Where did you oh. see this film? At the Regal Theater at Union Square in New York, which was not my first choice in going to theaters, but my first choice in theaters uh, was not showing this movie. Ah, what gives? I don't know, and I'm thinking I may have to write Draft House a letter in which they won't respond. Yeah, totally. And did you order any popcorn? Did you have any snacks? Oh, I did. Are you are you sitting down? Doing my best. (laughs) This are you are you recording uh, in a handstand position? Because you're going to need to be for this next one. Okay. (laughs) Um, This could be old news, but this theater had. Flamin' Hot Cheetos Popcorn. Oh my now, goodness. You might be asking yourself, is that Cheeto dust on the popcorn? And the answer would be, what? yes. Oh my God. And then you also might then say, well, wouldn't it be better if they also had Cheetos in the popcorn? And I would say yes, and they do. So they covered all their bases. Yes. Here's what they didn't think of. Oh God. Aren't you glad you're in that handstand pose now? Did they not give you enough napkins? <laughs> not enough napkins. I forgot that drinks at the movie theater are much larger than you anticipate them being. Did you have to take a bathroom break? I did have to take a bathroom break at one point, but it was very swift, and part of it was just to wash the Cheeto dust off of my hands. But the other part uh, was so you could use the restroom, though, right? Well, yeah, I mean, they both worked together. Well, so hopefully that... you wash the Cheeto dust off your hands first. Yes. <laughs> it's just gotten we too We are personal. focusing on the wrong point okay. here. Okay, hey, no. the yeah. Cheeto dust. I'm just a cheetah. I'm just a cool dude in a loose mood. Until I see those Cheetos. Do you want to tell me about it? The movie and stuff? Snacks aside, they were all done before the movie started anyway. As one does. Um, general idea you know i'm not sure if they explicitly said chicago but it was very much chicago um lower income area working single mother uh but chucky and this is more of a so of course i should let everyone know that we're just gonna spoil everything here um well i'm not gonna watch it there's a company very much like amazon and chucky is the chucky doll is very much like a alexa or an Echo Dot, mm-hmm. something that is family friendly that the kids can play with, but it can also like control all of the automation in your house, and it also connects to things like um, this in this universe, their version of self driving Ubers and mm-hmm. stuff like that. The twist is rather than using voodoo like they did in the original series, um, a disgruntled employee. Moments before killing himself, removes all the safety parameters from the AI chip that goes into the doll, and then the doll isn't evil, per se. Oh. The first, like, 20 to 30 minutes of the movie, it essentially learns how to be evil. No. Because... Well, where did he learn that? I learned it by watching you. Andy uh, and his friends... They learn that the, the the dolls broke, and so they start doing all these fun things with it, like scaring people, watching movies with it, horror movies. Gotcha. So they're trying to teach him. Yeah, but not intentionally. And it doesn't 
since it's not human or has doesn't like age and learn the way these humans in the movie have, it gets confused. So like when the cat hurts Andy, he's like, oh, I fucking hate this cat. And the cat gets hurt by Chucky. Oh. So it's that sort of like slow growth yeah. until the very end of the movie where he is so maniacal on if you can't play with me, no one can play with me. Thank all you. This sort of stuff. I totally relate to all of this. Is there is there ever going to get to a point where <laughs> I'm like, Rob, if somebody hurts you, it just they did. It's fine. That's what friends are for. Thank you. <laughs> but there were some pacing issues with the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, it seems like there would be a very, very cool director's cut. Oh. Um, some things were shoehorned in, like, out of nowhere, Aubrey Plaza has a boyfriend, and he's a dickhead, and you waste zero moments wondering if he's going to die, because he will. Oh, God. And he does. Mm-hmm. Was he cute? But there aren't that many... <laughs> no, and he was like... Ew. Old, or at least Ew. in terms of like the movie, he did not look like he was in the age range of Aubrey Plaza by like 10 years. So he was like 160. And so, well, I understand that Hollywood is a pool of ageless wonder. Yeah. But there were there was no chemistry between Aubrey Plaza and this guy, regardless of age. She knew he was going to die. Yeah, they wrote him to be such a dick anyway that... No one cared. Oh, he also was cheating on her. It's like all this stuff where you're just like, okay. But what they did do is they ingeniously continued the idea that like Chucky cannot like just overpower someone because it's a doll. Right. So there are some like ingenious ways that he, uh, not ingenious, but some fun ways that he kills people. (laughs) You're like, let me walk that back. (laughs) He climbed on a stool. (laughs) <laughs> um, everyone in the movie, though, acted their hearts out. Yeah, they did a really great job. It just—it seemed a little too easy. Hmm. And was there any parts that scared you? No, that was also a thing that I came out of it with. I was like, "Well, that was fun," because it was. I had fun hmm. seeing it. I, but I was like, "Yeah." That, that, Zero points in the movie was I frightened at all. Huh. Well, because you we watched the trailer. We commented on the trailer and you did agree at that time that it looked scary. Yes, especially that scene of Aubrey Plaza like tied up towards mm-hmm. the end of it. Like that looked scary as hell. And to be quite honest, that situation was scary in the movie, but I was never frightened. There was never anything that made me actually think that she was going to die. Oh. You know? Like something about it was like Oh, well, there's no way she's going to die. And the kid has the tools to save her. So I assume they're going to be used. Right. And they are. Oh, well, that's good. It feels like it was rushed, you know? A rush job, if you will. Like, yeah. And also, I can't, couldn't help but think, like, you know how Don Mancini and everyone who created the originals were, like, up in arms about how not my Chucky and... Yes. We're going to continue with our TV show and all these... Like... Yeah. I can only imagine that if they would have not fought it and offered to be like, hey, we're here to help if you need anything or whatever. I I mean, I don't know exactly how Hollywood works. Right. But if they wouldn't have fought it, maybe the studio wouldn't have rushed this one to get it done before whatever they're planning on doing. And they all could have worked together. Yeah, teamwork. But I don't think I've ever known a movie production studio to really work together much. That's not really like what they're known for. I'm a facilitator. I bring creative people together. <laughs> but Brittany, it was fun. Um, I'd watch it again with friends. Monica, Chandler. Phoebe. You know, Brittany, you're really a Ross. You know that. That is the rudest thing you ever said to me. Why am I a Ross? In what way? Absolutely not. There's in, in no way that you're a Ross. Like I have taken the quiz and, and I've changed my answers every time and I've never gotten Ross. <laughs> if you were um, a friend, wh- which one would you be? I'd probably be Russ, the Ross doppelganger. Ew. <laughs> Why are no. you so hard on yourself? 
<laughs> you don't even get to be Ross. You're the knockoff of Ross. Like that's the worst. No, I'm I'm Ross's boss that eats his moist maker sandwich or part of it. Ross's boss. <laughs> Anyway, is my helicopter here yeah. to take me away or what? Yeah, this was too scary for me. <laughs> yeah. Everything that's occurred. <laughs> well, Brittany, we do have to let everyone know that we want to say a big thank you to Jeremy Siegel that's for writing right. the theme music to Pumpkin Spice Podcast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love this one. I'm snapping my fingers to it right now. Yep. Tapping my foot. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I should be on beat more. Uh, and everyone can join me. our Patreon and get all of our awesome bonus episodes, like the dentist episode yes. that we can't stop talking we can about. Never stop talking about it. And the struggles that we all have in doctors that we have to break up with. I'm looking for a new dentist. Okay. I'm looking for more patrons, and that's patreon.com yes. slash pink jeans so that I can pay for my dentistry visits. <laughs> yes. We use this to pay for Rob's teeth. <laughs> They don't let my dentist cut my hair anymore. Yeah. So they cut him uh, off. <laughs> they're trying to get me to spend all my money in all of these different areas. I miss the days where my dentist could cut my teeth, cut my hair, cut my nails, and anything else I just And threw give you away. yeah, and give you a pep talk while you're on your way out. Maybe a hand massage. Ew. No, nope, 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 nope. You don't like hand massages? <laughs> no, I love hand massages, but not by my former dentist or your former dentist or your current dentist or the dentist that I had when I was a child that pulled like four teeth out of my head for no reason. Remember that? <laughs> Cut that He's out. It's just like, I'm a collector. I I'm used... a collector of beautiful teeth. Exactly. He cu- He took all of the children's teeth out of their heads. Oh, I do remember that. Okay, everyone, we you need to just be a patron at least to hear our dentist episode. Thoughts and prayers. Brittany, I have another dentist appointment coming uh-huh. up in a couple of weeks. Well, because we're on the same cycle. We're on the same six-month cycle. I went to the dentist in January. You went to the dentist. Now we're going to June, June. You know, that's why I had... The crescent moon has got us I once know. again. <laughs> I always dreamed of the day. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's what I'm I, doing, dreaming of it right now. Yep. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Yeah, good night. Bye. I mean, what? Bye. 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 <laughs>